Inna from Bulgaria, living in Hong Kong right now, um, and I love Tokyo. Hey, my name is Janos, I'm from Austria, also living in Hong Kong, and we're about to live in Tokyo, so there we go. And we've been here for a week, and um, so far every day is offering something new, you know, you discover new places, new people, experiences, everyone's super friendly, um, very helpful, very polite. Great food, one of the best food ever. I mean, we live in Hong Kong, which is also great yeah. for food. Like but here, it's healthier, it's tastier, it's more fresh. It's really good. No, I think Japan is a great, it's a great, great place. I mean, uh, I, I only saw it for the second time now, um, and I really want to live here. So yeah, we're gonna be here. We're gonna do quite a few things. Okay, um, we're gonna help startups and entrepreneurs in Japan. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So you see, you are from Austria. Uh -huh. ah. Austria, France. So two, uh, two nationals. Oh, two nationals. Okay, okay. So, I, so with us you have four countries? Yeah. Four countries. So why you decided to go to Hong Kong? Ina does a PhD in doctor. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and then she got accepted in Hong Kong. Okay. And then I do PhD as well. Oh. But oh. then the business in Hong Kong is also good. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So in Bulgaria, what kind of food do you eat? Oh, in Bulgaria, it really depends on the season. So in okay. summer, you eat a lot of fresh, you know, vegetable, fruit, salad. There's one really, really good dish called chopka salad, and Yannis can explain about it. Chopka salad is amazing. Love yeah. It. Yeah. So chopka salad is um. Mm. You have tomato, you have onion, you have yeah. cheese, you have peppers, okay. you have olives, so it's a very summer dish. Okay. And like all the colors of Chopka Salad is like the, the flag of Bulgaria. So the, the color of the flag really? is the same as the color of the salad. Oh. And so it's this is why they call it the national dish of Bulgaria. Wow. Yeah. It sounds very simple, but it's actually the quality of the ingredients yeah. that makes it really special. Because you can't find it anywhere else. Like the same kind of tomato, the same kind of cheese. Okay. It's very, very unique for that region. Yeah, very good. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And uh, in winter, it's a bit heavier food, you know, more meat, more cooked, you know, cooked yeah. food. So um, in winter, it's we have the Different types of specialties like cabbage or pork or something else. So oh. It really depends. Wow. Yeah, yeah. In France, they make complex recipes with a lot of ingredients okay. that taste very, very good. But I prefer uh, Japanese food. Because okay. French food yeah. has a lot of sauces, right? So you cook sauces and you. In Japan, it's like you only use the ingredients. Okay. So you know, like you cut fish, you. you know, it's simpler. Very, very good sushi, it's very simple. Okay. But it's very sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. For our Japanese people, yogurt is the yes, famous. Yes, yes. Bulgarian yogurt. Everyone says it's Greek yogurt, but it's actually Bulgarian yogurt. So you guys really eat yogurt in your country? Yeah, we do. Yogurt is very. It's a very traditional food, and we add it in many different dishes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the traditional the Bul the Bulgarian yogurt is unique because it has a special bacteria that makes the milk ferment. Uh -huh. So it's only found in Bulgaria, uh -huh. and then it's been exported to different countries. But that's where it originated. Oh, I think the food arrives. Yeah, the best. It's really good, the book. You should try it. Ah, uh, see? We still need to try good soba plate. Mm. Oh, soba. The last time I tried soba with uh, Australian. Australian? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So yummy. Amazing. Thanks for finding us. Yeah. We really have. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Wasabi challenge. You want to do a wasabi challenge? Should we do a wasabi challenge? Wasabi challenge. <laughs> oh wasabi challenge though. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. One, two. Oh my god, get ready for this. <laughs> Wait for it. It's okay. Oh, it's Wait okay. for it. Wow. <laughs> it's gonna hit you now. No, it's fine. What? I think it's gonna. Only this? It's okay. No. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Really? Yeah. yeah! Wow! Yeah! So yummy! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Mm. So, uh, how about street food? I really like um, takoyaki. Oh, I love you. so good. Um, and we had in uh, Ueno the other day, really good takoyaki oh, okay. there. Street. Oh, mm. so nice. Mm. And we went to a little izakaya, so we ordered mm. food. We don't know because it's many yeah, in Japanese, yeah, yeah. so yeah. we just ordered. And it was really good actually. Random. Yeah, yeah. Really okay. nice. Do you have a meaning for the name? Mm. Does it mean something? Uh, no, really for my name mm. because we ha we use a Chinese character mm. for you know like letters. Every Chinese character has a meaning. Yeah. But for, one, for my name, it doesn't really make sense. Okay. Yeah. Diana says actually what four names? Five names? Four. Yanos, okay. Nathan, Jules, Edouard, Valerius. Yeah. Is it like a whole name or a four different names? Different names, but I still, <laughs> it's on my passport. But he only uses the first one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. All gone. All gone. Best food. Mm. Amazing. Really nice. Come here, Lugo. <laughs> Can we do it? I'm sure. Okay. It's a wide angle. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Love Japan. <laughs>